Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Dani Firmansyah I'm from 6 semester In this video, I'm gonna talk about written and spoken language in South Asia Historical origin of writing in South Asia One of the world's significant early script is Of course, that of the Indus Valley civilization Often called Harappan after one of the main archaeological sites, the known inscri inscription in this writing system, which has not yet been dissipated, that from around the first half of the third millennium, at a period when most scholars believe that such script speaker has not yet entered the Indus Valley. It is widely hypothesis that the language of the Harappan civilization belong to the Dravidian family for two reasons. First, all true language of that group are known. Concerned in South India, they are known to have occupied a wider area in the past. One of Dravidian language, Brahui is still spoken in Baluchitan, just west of Indus Valley. Second, a significant number of Dravian borrowing can be identified in this older Vedic text, reflecting the earliest period of contact between Sanskrit speaker and the ancient Harappan population. The Asokan script, the edict of the Emperor Asoka, dating from around 2253 until 250 are found over a large part of South Asia and in several writing systems on the northwestern frontier some inscriptions are in Greek and Aramaic the principal language of foreign contact in the area most other inscri inscription are in Prakit dialect and Asoka, capital in Magadha, but they are in two different writing systems. One of these, Karoti, was written from right to left. It was used only in the northwest and eventually died out. The other script, Brahmi, was written mainly from the left to right. It was used in large part of subcontinent and eventually developed into the many different major and minor script used down to the present time in India and South Asia. This is the example of Asokan script. It is interim to note that there is perhaps only one other writing system in the world which indicates combination by vowel, diatric, Oblig obligatorily attached and consonant. Orality versus literacy in ancient India. India. The majority view among European Indologists has been that Sanskrit speaking culture was basically oral, that not only the Vedas, but also the Brahmanas and Puranas. The epic and classic literally in general were composed the transmitted orally and that even the opitem of Sopitication. The Sanskrit grammar of Panini was elaborate without the use of writing. But other solar especially in India, have incited that a continuous tradition of literary must have excited to the written document themselves have not survived. The problem is that, even though we find mention of writing in classical Sanskrit text, it is hard to determine the exact period from which a text dates, and even hard to rule out the possibility that the reference to writing are led interpolation. 
The Greek evidence The most easily deliverable evidence is that from the Greek writer who visited India during and following the time of Alexander the Great. This material is in some ways unsatisfactory since it consists large of fragments quoted by a later Greek and Roman author. Furthermore, there is tendency in much Greek writing on India to emphasize the spectacular of fabul fabulous. However, a few statements seem straightforward and relevant. First, Nerchus, a general of Alexander's army, was reported by Strabo geography as stating that is Hindu's word letter online clothes that is very close woven. Second, the Roman writer Quintus Curtius in his history of Alex. Cities and unknown Greek such as stating that the tender side of the bark of trees receive writing character like paper. The reference is evidently the brick bark. These two quotations indicate that writing was known, at least in some part of South Asia. Buddhist tradition Since the Brahmi text, in fact Buddhist edict of the Emperor Asoka, it is natural to look the other early Buddhist texts of evidence of writing. Such evidence is found to Pali script as reported by Rhys David. The oldest reference is in Silas, took that from around 400 before century, which contains a list of fabulous activity forbidden to Buddhist monks. One is called Akarika, the tracing of Aksaras, or writing symbol on the skin of a person who is supposed to guess, who are writing in the Vinaya text, or perhaps a century later. The term Leka, writing for a core, as the name of skill which monks were allowed to learn to which was used but for official notice and for prison letter. The Hindu tradition It is well known that oral transmission of Vedas and other Sanskrit literature has been practiced in India from ancient time to the prison. In fact, the earliest record of written Sanskrit that from only the 1st century much later than Parkhead inscription, at a time when Sanskrit can no longer have been well spoken. During the period when the Vedic civilization was being built up, no form of writing was employed in India. In its absence, the technique was evolved of preser preserving intact the Vedic literature by means of oral tradition. Even when writing was introduced, this oral tradition presided in the, in the various departments of knowledge, and it continues as a basic feature of Indian education down to modern time. Use of writing was only slow adopt in Brahmi school, and in the early period it functioned lay primarily in business and administration. Other part of the world, the role of literacy and orality in such Asia may profitably be, compass, be compared with what is known from other regions where oral tradition have been important. The famous study by Lord. 1960 and Perry 1971. On the oral epic in southern Europe, so that oral narrative still changed the prison bar in Yugoslavia. Are based on verbatim repetition, but on constant overall pattern with which individual performs can use varying recombination of formula expression and also show that a similar process is likely to have given rise to the Hamoric epic of preliterary ancient Greece. Goody report the same process in present day oral literature, oral literature of West Africa so it may well be that classical Sanskrit literature and even the Vedas original in such structure of control improvisation but India from a very ancient death, perfected the skill of word for word, repetition and memorization, and instrumentation then for Hindu, Buddhist and secular literature.
parallel with less historical that can be found elsewhere in the word Finnegan. Report extensive verbatim memorization in West Africa and so does Celsius for Suna India of Panama field worker among North American India group such as myself among the Karok of Northern California have heard ho less than 100 years ago children were required to repeat each sentence of the meat narrated by their grandparents so as to ensure accurate transmission where musical feeder of rhythm and melody are involved the human memorized can of course stretch even further yeah that's all for me thanks for attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh